Hello and welcome back to AGT STEM. Today we're going to be watching a video about cerium. So, without further ado, let's hop to it. Cerium is one of only two elements which, if you strike it, will make sparks. One of them is iron. That's pretty cool. If you hit it, it'll make sparks. Sounds dangerous. And the other one is cerium. And so, I bought this when I was on holiday a year ago and I haven't had a chance to use it. It, contains a, it consists of a rod here which has claims to have several metals including cerium. Let's see if it sparks. Okay, so cerium, element number 58, uh, has some bizarre uses. Uh, would you believe it's used in self-cleaning ovens? So it's not very easy to do, but once you get the hang of it, it does go quite well. Uh, cerium also has uh, uses such as for staining glass. So if you want to stain your glass yellow, then you can use uh, cerium in that. What is happening? It's pretty cool that you can stain your glass with cerium. It's also pretty cool that if you just hit it, it'll make sparks. I mean, I guess you have to hit it with quite a lot of force because he was saying it's not very easy to get it to spark. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty nice. What's happening is that tiny pieces of cerium are being knocked off and in the air they just burst into flames. So I think the property is not so much that it forms a spark but that you can knock off the right size lumps to make them burn. These things that are being knocked off are probably just a few nanometers, that's a thousand millionth of a meter across, so they're very tiny size and the surface area is high because it's small, so it has a large surface compared to its volume and so it reacts with oxygen very rapidly and heats up and bursts into flame. The um, point about cerium is that very small particles of cerium oxide are now becoming quite important in um, various areas of technology. There's a company or several companies that are using nanoparticles of cerium oxide as an additive for fuels to make, particularly diesel fuel, to try and make it burn better and give more power. That's pretty interesting. You just add some cerium and it burns better. I guess that makes sense because the cerium burns when you hit it, well, sort of, because it makes sparks. When you are driving diesel cars, and here in Nottingham we're trying to develop new ways of making these nanoparticles by reacting cerium with high temperature water, and it's been quite successful. It's also used in organic synthesis uh, by chemists for making organic molecules because it can be very reactive under certain circumstances. Cerium is, is also used in permanent magnets for obvious applications in magnetism. <laughs> that was also a pretty short video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Stay smart. Bye!